Not going to lie, but have you seen the giant-sized cucumbers in Sainsbury's that could tear your asshole into a crater? On that note, Harrison, I think it's best if we start off with this game. We've got a man like Karim in the south of the map. Like I was just saying earlier, I literally rely. Like this, this is, it just makes me laugh. Like Karim has the most deadliest build orders in the game, right? And he doesn't even know that if you shoot a herd after 12 seconds, it will herd away from you. <laughs> so he's like 17. Sometimes he's in the top 50 and he doesn't even know that you can herd after 12 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love you. Gotta love him, man. You got to love him. How can you not? Interesting that TP getting stolen there. It's gonna go down to this one. Why you'd go? I guess I see the. I see the benefit of going for one of the wide TPs. The reason why you would do that. Anyone who's watching, who's uh ten hundred elo. So 1,000 ELO, that would be really high, right? No, that would be 1,000 ELO. Oh my god, I'm losing it today. Too many sweets from Halloween, I think. It's giving me brain fog. But the reason you'd go for one of these far TPs is because obviously to take it down would be it's, it's far more difficult because it's more travelling distance for your opponent. But it looks like both of them had that idea. Need to turn myself down a little bit because god damn that was loud classic Korean not going for villagers going straight into that capitalism build i don't know why he doesn't I, I like i feel like the silk road build is better honestly i've been doing the silk road a silk road build and it's it's honestly it's so fun capitalism i get i do get it but silk road that FI build, that semi-FI build, is so good. So good. Shipping 700 wood and 1,000 wood with, with Silk Road. Oh, it's basically like it's basically like 2,000 wood. Uh, no, it's more than 2,000 wood. It's just over 2,000 wood. It's like 2,100 wood. Okay, so not much going on here. Karim already aging at two minutes. Fair. That's actually quite a slow age. It's probably to do with that. That starting herding was just absolutely horrific. Maybe it's Karim's first game of the day. Who knows? Oh, but a 12-10 from France. Let's go. 12-10, definitely the most deadly France strategy out there. But obviously, you generally have to find food treasures to pull it off. So we'll look at his deck. Pretty standard deck. L standard. Calling your deck, starting your name with the, the letter L is kind of like, yeah. It's like a psychological lose. Start it off as W. W, W, win, win. Even if you lose, you win. It's better for your psychological, it's better for the mind. Maybe I'm just chatting bollocks. Tends to be the case 90% of the time. Okay, anything interesting going on? Krim going to be picking up 40 XP. France going to be picking up 30 XP. France is a uh, scout here, just having a look around. Always worth seeing what Otto age up with. Always worth seeing what Otto age up with. You always want to see the, the biggest, the best way to scout Otto. They're so, it's, it's generally easy to tell what they're going to do. One, you scout their deck sometimes there's huge giveaways two you see what they age up with if they're aging up with did it look like he just aged up with gold there but he aged up with that's why he aged up a little bit late because he aged up with the logistician going for the second mosque and the imam it's a terrible it's a terrible age up option like i mean okay you get a church that's that's pretty good if you're doing like the fi builds the fast industrial or fast fortress builds get all of those juicy XP, but you're sacrificing a hundred food, ten seconds late, slower age up. It does have the imam, but 
you can just make an imam you know what how much are they you know it's 115 food 115 food which basically is an, an extra 100 food anyway for the lot of station plus 150 wood x4 mosque and to increase the build limit of a mosque now nah. now nah. now nah, 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 nah. it's a terrible build terrible age up rather in comes this guy and uh, for anyone who doesn't know, these guys get promotions. <laughs> so he's going to two hit with that little, little dagger. Stabbing him in the back. And now he has a bronze promotion, which gives him an extra 30 HP. <laughs> Whose idea was it to give these guys combat promotions? Like, it makes no sense. Like, why do these guys need extra HP? It serves almost no, no purpose because they're not really a military unit. They're more like a reconnaissance unit. Maybe, you know, they can survive more TC shots. Who knows? Okay, so we've got semi Hazar push coming in here. Three Hazar. Only three Hazars, though. It's not four or five. In case you guys couldn't count and needed me to tell you that. Not going to find anything. Karim's TC micro is too good. Teehee. Do you like how he's putting the Hazards on guard mode as well? Don't forget, this guy's like... This guy is, what was he, 1850 ELO or something? So he's like mid-1800s ELO. So this guy's really good. This guy is actually really, really good. He's definitely in the top 100. Probably like top 70, I imagine. Uh, maybe a bit higher than that, actually. More, nearly, probably nearly top 50. Top 60, I would say. That's it. My final offer is top 60. That's what I'm going to go with. I'm sure there's always nerds in chat that tell me exactly where it is i love this using a villager there to thump down one of the hazards god damn kareem that is that's something you would see at a top level play that is something you see at the high level at the highest elo levels see so i'm talking about kareem does some of the things kareem does some of his skills some of his skill set is 2k elo player right but then other things he does is like 1500. It's, it just makes no sense. It's like he picks and chooses what he wants to be good at. Okay, so he's shipped to 700 gold and 700 wood. And he's now got two shipments stacked. So this church, extra church definitely paying off there. Aging up with Hazars. 7 minutes 30. Pretty early still. Going for a fort! Oh, maybe the AI is adapting. Has he finally realized... He, By the way, he doesn't even have three outposts in his deck. Does he finally understand that a fort is better than three outposts, upgraded outposts? Does he? Is he finally understanding this? If so, then this proves the AI is evolving. Skynet is adapting. That joke will never get old. Because I said so. Running into goons, unfortunately. Just as I was talking about evolving. And, uh... Nice play here by France. He's obviously aged up quickly. So, aging up with the Hazards was probably not a great idea here. Aging up with Abba's guns definitely would have been more effective. But the fort is down and there's no siege coming in. Uh, these guys' siege is terrible as well. 10 siege. Hazards is okay, but... Yeah, that's not going to be enough. And now Karim's going for the TP line. That is very ballsy because I don't think the TP line is going to be up for very long. So Karim is going to be aging up super quick here. Already going for Moss Construction. Damn, I, I'm I'm still, I'll forever be curious as to why he goes to Moss Construction first. I guess Moss Construction makes these things cheaper as well, doesn't it? So I guess it, I think it makes Millet System and uh, these things cheaper. Uh, what have we got here? Millet System and Galata. Uh, does it say Millet? Millet System is minus 50%. And Galata Tower as well. That's so good. Look at these things. 38 wood. I didn't know it cost 38. Holy crap. And Galata is 50 gold. Um, 
are <laughs> so good. Like, moss construction is good enough just with these extra texts that it, that you get from the moss card. Palace entry. Like, let alone making these things cheaper. Like, it doesn't need to make those things cheaper at all. Salam. The outpost for the revolt. The only revolt that would benefit from the outpost are the the Romanian and Hungarian revolts, which kind of both suck. So there's pretty much no reason to ever go for them. And and it's not worth the security that a fort brings. Don't forget, this fort can be used as a stable, barracks, can make artillery. So yeah, there's just, there's just no way in which free outpost is ever better. Brown boy uh, almost having some PTSD there. It looks like he managed to win the game. Agent with some spar heat. Doing it with palace intrigue. Hasn't gone for mercantilism, so he hasn't aged up with the gold to go for the mercantilism. Seems like Karim changes his mind what he tends to do every game. Sometimes you see him go for uh, factories first, and then he'll go for the both the church, the, sorry, the mosque cards. Uh, once he gets mercantilism in, aging up with 1k gold. Sometimes he ages up with Spahi, which he's about to waste here. Ah, uh, this is why he's got the Imam. I love it. So he's going to be using the Imam to heal these big boys. The kind of caught our position here, though. He loves this. Using still has these. He's got a skirmisher there as well, which do added bonus 2.5 versus light cavalry. Those Minutemen put in work, not going to lie. Was Explorer there as well, using this crack shot at the eye of the assassin. In comes the Puku Corpse. I just said to Puku Corpse. I have no idea. I Like, that C after the P. Like, what is that thing at the below it? Like, what does that represent? I have absolutely no idea. My Ottoman brethren in the chat, my Ottoman brothers in arms, please tell me how you pronounce that. I am nothing but a simple Englishman. I love this. I love this scout here by Grony. Look at this. Look at that. Sees everything that's coming. And look at that. It's going to give him all the information he needs to run away. Really nice play here. It's one of the benefits of playing uh, uh, France that you get that free scout. And it's very difficult to see because stealth has been buffed. Honestly, stealth, stealth got nerfed. Near the beginning of DE, stealth kept getting nerfed. Mercantilism coming in for France. And nice. he has gone into age four as well with a second PC as well. Oh, wow. Look at this guy. This spy is still alive. Holy crap. It's now got 315 HP. I believe it gets shadow teched depending on the age it's in. Two TC wagon card coming in for Otto. We're... Guys, get your popcorn. Get your cup of tea ready. Get comfortable. I think we're in for the long run here. Boom. I think that spy is going to get found out, unfortunately. I love it. Karim sees everything that's going on here. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> Take down another goon there. And the, the, thing, the thing that makes these spy he's so deadly, and by the way, look at their little maces. They've got gold tips. It's so cute. It's very Ottoman-y. Problem with these Spahi, especially when they get the mosque tech and armor. That you just like you need a big group of cult, uh, dragoons. Otherwise, like small batches like this, just gonna just not gonna cut the mustard. Uh, neither is two heavy cannons versus three great bombards. They will get absolutely wrecked, riggedy wrecked. Minutemen even being called, definitely prematurely there. And somehow, wow, look at these Nizams as well now. Somehow the TP line, all three TPs still remaining for Karim. I definitely feel like that's a mistake by France. Should definitely be taking that down. And doesn't actually have a good industrial deck. You're going up against Karim and you've only got three cards in industrial. Al almost makes mercantilism worthless, oh, yeah. right? I mean, it doesn't, but... Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you, you, you can't get mercantilism for age four cards, it definitely weakens that tech. 
going for Cavalry Combat as well. It's going to buff the Dragoons. Bonjour. Going for another stable. I think it's the, the fairest, safest thing to do would actually... I mean, yeah, okay. If you've got no gold mines, then putting this on gold is definitely good. But um, using your factories to make heavy cannons right now and just mass producing goons, maybe make a couple of culverins as well. It's definitely the safest thing to do. The only thing you've got to worry about is these uh, guard, nizam, fusiliers. Uh, once you've got enough mass of goons, the spy, he shouldn't be too much of a problem. Refrigeration coming in as well. He is starting to make culverins. You've got to remember that magic number. The magic number versus heavy infantry. Uh, sorry, versus heavy artillery. So heavy cannons or bombards is free. Free is the magic number. That's what kills a great bombard in one hit. So if you have less than three, it kind of fucks you up because it means that it's going to take double the length of time to kill these bombards. And that means they're going to get double the shots, which means you're going to get double as fucked. Starting to make some skirms. I think I, I, don't, I don't know. Does he want skirms? He's only okay. He got population pop capped there. Unfortunately, uh, that is definitely a huge mistake. If if he was pushing in now, Minutemen versus Minutemen action. Oh, let's go, baby! Minutemen versus Minutemen. How often do you get to see that? Oh, Grody! Roni. No, Nizams have a charge ability. You can snare them all. Hi. I mean, he does take down a few by the looks of it, but could have been, could have been so much better. Guard tech coming in for the goons now. He has one culverin and two heavies. That's not enough to push. He's on 35 villagers. Starting to take down a TP. I love this. He's using these, understanding that Ottoman Minutemen are good at raiding. So he's probably going to be trying to find some villagers. Or he's just going to dive them into some goons instead. That's it. Those goons did 60 damage almost to one goon. Definitely worth it. Bonjour. Okay, these guys are migrating oui. back. 36 vils. Whilst we're only on 30. Karim, you sent these two TCs ages ago. You sent the Moss Construction, the Palace Intrigue card. Get these texts, bruh. Get some houses down, please, I beg. Boom. It's always beautiful to see Great Bombards killing cavalry. Love it. Uh, Karim, by the way, could have pushed in a long time ago. I'm not sure why he's being so timid here. Just allowing, giving Grony time, which is... What he needed. Very packed in base. A very, a very I'm shitting myself base that is. That's a please don't hurt me, Karim. Please don't dive into my base. Okay, Amber's guns coming in. Oh, these culverins really fishing for something. I think they're going to get a hook. They are. But not a line and sinker because, like I said, they stay alive. Fine if he can might be. He's having to use his goons as an extra culver in there, if you can see. Which is not what he wants. And Spahi now. And exactly, he was sacrificing the goons to take down the bombard. But boy, oh boy, was that a mistake. Because look at these bad boys. Just absolutely run a train through you. You won't mention in chat who has a train ran through them. GG. Great fight there for Krim. Two Coverings coming in. And Nizams will do really well now. If only he realised that they have a stand ground position. Which gives them more range than the Skirmisher. Or the same range as the Skirmisher. Uh, which is a massive shame. I do love the uh, the blue kicks on these guys, by the way. it's always I've always loved the colour of these guys. Look how cool they are. Such a cool unit. Definitely one of the coolest units in the game. Those blue slippers. Those blue Aladdin slippers. Got to love it. Just need a magic carpet on top of that, and it would just be. Developers, if you're listening, magic carpets for Nizams, please. Interesting. So we've got Bosniaks coming in for Karim. 
I mean, you don't often see Bosniaks for Otto. And I'm not going to lie, because that's because they're not as good as Mamelukes. Like, imagine Mamelukes here. They would just snare these things for days. But Bosniaks, nonetheless, he's gone for. Doesn't look like he has that Imam anymore. Like I said, they only cost like 115 food, so very easy to get them back. Fire! Come on! Use these Nizams, baby. 44 vils now. Two great bombards coming in. We've got one factory. Classic career music. He's only got one of them out. <laughs> like, he could definitely get away with shipping a factory right now. Like, there's no reason. Like, two bombards doesn't help that much here. I mean, it does and it doesn't. Yeah, that's, that's, that's actually quite a lot of good. Should be making Abbas guns. Bombard to do pop out. There's a couple of culverins in the back here I saw, yeah. Okay. The second TC here going down again. Looks like this one here did get taken down. Interesting, we've got no stagecoach. Ooh, walls going down. Brony's getting cold feet. This is the reason why goons, one of the reasons why goons is so good versus Otto. Unless you've got cavalry archers, these things are just going to be able to run around your base and you've got absolutely nothing really to do anything. His only answer, the best answer that Karim has right now is just to push in his base. Push in his base with those bombards, take these factories down and he'd get caught with his trousers down because he's completely out of place. Uh, and that's the best way to counter these kind of migration of your army like when someone has lots of cab um, i love the skins of these guard skirms as well by the way look at them looks like someone with that green that's on them it looks like something out of halloween badass nonetheless and it looks like he is starting to push a little bit but he needs to get, he needs to get these bombards in there with these bombards yeah just take all this down take it all down He's gonna lose a tc but if he just pushed into his base here it's the best counterplay he has right now. Instead, he's taking his back. That is a lot of Abbas guns, though. That is a lot of Abbas guns. It could have been in his base. Full culverins. That's to deal with the great bombards. But maybe overkill. Because there's only two bombards now. Although that does mean now he has lots of culverins out, it does mean he can go for artillery himself. So he can go for falconets or, or horse guns or heavy cannons, whatever. Uh, and that's a really effective way of dealing with the Nizams. He does have skirmishes as well. The skirmishes will lose to Abbas guns. Silver Dragoons, depending on the micro. Oh god, there's so many Abbas guns. Fire! Why is he not firing? Oh my god, he's killing one goon at a time with like 25 Abbas guns. Oh my god. They are veteran. Oh, in come the Bosniaks. Let's go. Some interesting micro by Karim, but he does do, does do a good job melting some of those goons. What is that doing? What on earth is that doing behind Karim's base? That cheeky, cheeky bastard. Scores are really close. Grim's keeping it clutch. It's on 61 bills. Starting to get some Arsenal techs in there. <laughs> Julian, I don't talk to mods below 1600 either. <laughs> oh, that is a uh, that is dig of the year. <laughs> Saying it to my main man Harrison, the gatekeeper, the 1600 elo gatekeeper. Savagery. Julian just committed a murder in my chat. Okay, kept that TC alive. 50 villagers for France. This is close. This is really close. Wow, he's going for musketeers. No way. Okay, Gendarmes. I think that's definitely better. There really isn't much anti-cab. 
I mean, you can argue Sparhy are basically anti-cab. They're anti-everything. They've got some Nizams. But Kurs are definitely a good answer here. If you can mass enough of them, they are guard now. 43 with two air effects. Those beautiful creatures. It's going to get even more HP as well. Cavu Karas. Starting to get all the Arsenal techs in. Church techs. Bang, 850 now. They do take a heavy toll. He's on 50 bills. Eco's decent. He's got two TCs. One TC did get taken down quite early on. Oh, he's after she's at to shift to estates. He does have two of them down now. Both his factories on gold. Mills going down. So really dodgy. This is like the perfect time to push in. When your opponent has to start putting all of the infrastructure down, like the eco infrastructure. Always the best time to push in. But Krim's Krim's not making moves here. I don't know why he's not making moves this game. He's, he's had he's had like two or three really good opportunities to push in here. Um, I, I like this, and this might actually be the thought process be behind why Karim's decided to go for a fort. Maybe he's just realized that forts can make Nizams. Uh, and you can make Nizams once you've sent the tech from the church. From the mosque, sorry. I don't think I'll ever get out of saying church before I say mosque. Ottomans just have to be different. Emrin? 31 guard abbas guns now nizams obviously are shadow tech anyway okay, these coven's are going to be pretty much useless uh, he has got howitzer as well so a lot of population space here being taken up by artillery like worthless artillery to be honest there is still, okay there's still a couple of great bombards so probably not completely worthless if he's got a good micro got a few imams in here as well Now some infrastructure down. Does have a gold mine here, which could, is definitely in his possession. I mean, that's a risky one. That looks like that's almost gone anyway. That's another risky one. But definitely France could go here. Okay, the motors on there. He does still have plenty of food. He's got a nice herd here as well. Just needs one more tech. This guy, he's, he's going to be going imperial at this rate. Shipping six Spahi. My god, what a madman. I mean, if he didn't ship those six Spahi, he could have gone to uh, Imperial. Let's have a look at Grony. He's nowhere near Imperial, but he is max population right now. And he's on 60 bills, so he's going to have a mean army here. And that is a scary mass of 22 Gendarms. It's not often you get to say the word Gendarms, because they don't often they just very rarely get to that stage with France. We get the eco to be able to do that. These guys, 850 HP. And what's the mass? What's the anti cab here? Uh, I'm not convinced that 20 Nizams. I mean, he's got 8 Sparky as well and 5 Bosniaks. So that, that will be enough to repel this initial mass. But oh, he's going in with the charge. The Sparky going in as well. I think the Kurs will get beat there. Yeah, they'll get wrecked there. The Abbas guns need to get involved though. The Great Bombards are doing some work. Are we going to see some good micro by Skynet? We are. Oh, it could have been a better shot off, though. That I'm not sure what happened to that ragdoll. Jesus Christ. And Sparhi just proving why they're the king of the cavalry. But look at this. Holy crap. They're doing it. The Kurds are doing it comfortably. I did not expect that. 14 still alive. I did not expect that. There's a lot of that are weak there, but some now still plenty hp and is that the way the cookie crumbles is that all she wrote is that all she wrote let's have a look at karim oh my god look at karim, oh. karim! i think he was probably aging to imperial and then cancelled it Oh, Karim, not like this. Not like this, Karim. If he could get to Imperial, I believe his Nizams would shadow tech to Imperial. Spahi coming out. 
Oh my god, 10 more Gendarms coming in here. What is he using? What is he deciding to use this resource on? And he's got to make about... Oh, he's revolting! Okay. To Egypt. Okay, he's on 65 bills. He's lost a lot of villagers. But boom, let's go. He's got these, these revolutionaries look like standard revolutionaries. A little bit less HP. No, I think they're pretty standard, actually. Solid general purpose infantry, good against cavalry. Yeah, very, very normal revolutionaries, but with a different skin. Almost look like Zuaves. Sparky in there as well. He's spamming lots of these because he had lots of food left over. Shipments, I believe, do get Mamelukes. And wow, look at this. Five Mamelukes going to be coming in. Interesting use of his gold there. I wonder if that's a... I wonder if that's what this allows you. This build allows you. Oh, look at that. Mamelukes obviously get automatically the ability to be trained from forts if you revolt into Egypt. Uh, I did not know that. I did not know that. Factories on heavy cannon production. He should have done this like 10 minutes ago. <laughs> he could have done this so much earlier when he had a full mass a population mass of army. He could have then revolted. Imagine how devastating that would have been. Adding Mamelukes into the mix there as well with that big first fight. There's no more Colvins left by the looks of it. The Bombards are going to have free reign. These Gendarms, almost the same stats. Almost the same stats as these Spahi. Mamelukes though are going to be tanking so much HP. These guys have multipliers. These do 48 damage to Kurz. Holy moly. Holy moly. Are we seeing something special? Now, what would be best for Karim right now is if Grony is deciding to age. He's not, and he would be using 8,000 resources to try and age. And that would be a good opportunity for him to try and sneak in the win there. But he's not. He's on 70 bills, so not quite maxed just yet. Scores still, he's still in it. He's still in it. But he needs to make something happen now. Six Mamelukes about to get a few more. And one thing to note about the Egypt revolt. Let's have a look at the deck. You do get a free Mameluke with each shipment. So he's got four Boz, uh, four Stradiots here that give a Mameluke as well. Nice wall here. Uh, you know, anything past half an hour, maybe 25 minutes, I'll allow walls. Okay, so you're still a fair player if you make walls after 25 minutes. More walls going down. He's getting a little bit worried. 16 revolutionaries coming in. With a Mameluke. That's actually an insane... That's actually an insane shipment because most other revolutions only get 16 revolution, uh, revolutionaries. So getting 16 revolutionaries with a Mamelu, that's like a 2,000 resource. That's a 2,000 resource card. That's kind of insane. Three Bombards coming in. Ooh, should have got a quintuple kill here. And again, he's only got two Colvins, so he's not about to kill these in one hit. The Colvins won't be long for this world either. Oh, oh, get the spy involved, get the spy involved, get them attacking. Boom, we've got a great bombard on 22 HP, doing some damage. Oh, we got the crack shot as well. This isn't over. This is not over. Oh, the great bombard getting another hit off. And he's just trapped his goons. Oh, he needs to get on that eco mass right now with his cavalry. Don't let him get any more resources. Another Colvin coming out. Definitely going to get simped for these Mamelukes right now. And he's only making goons. And goons aren't that great versus revolutionaries. Oh. <laughs> Please, Karim. Come on, Skynet. You can make some more. Come on, you can make stuff. You can even get a market. Has he got a market so he could sell everything? No, this is Karim. Of course, he doesn't have a market. Oh, villagers are getting tanked on now. Oh my goodness me. Is this the way? Is this is this how it ends? 
He's got. He's still got a decent amount of un uh, resources, but he's running out of gold. What he actually needs is heavy cannons himself. I keep telling you this. You need heavy cannons. Put those factories on heavy cannons. It's the best unit you have to deal with these fusiliers. Holy crap. Look how cool these revolutionaries look, by the way. They get their Aladdin caps. They got their Aladdin trousers. Oh, they look so cool. Look at them. They're wearing pajamas to a, to a fight. To a gunfight. So cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, my man Robot coming in here. Talking about revolution. Robot just subscribed. It's not going to be enough. Thank you so much for the prime, big boy. 20 months, Robot. Can't get over how cool these guys are. Dim Dim Saladin. Making skirmishes. And skirmishes are... Some skirmishes are okay. These guys only have 12 range, but they have 5 speed. They're going to get wrecked by the bombards. The problem is the Mamelukes as well. He's just about staying in. Karim, come on. You can do this. Go for the eco. Go for the head. These factories producing the great bombards as well. That's uh, causing so many problems. Because he needs to mass skirm goon. But he also needs cauldrons. And he just doesn't have a gold to do everything. Could actually revolt himself. Now, hear me out. If Grony actually went for either the French Revolution or the Canada Revolution. And used his villagers as like an all-in. The, the French villagers become very tanky. They have about 28 hand, uh, uh, ranged attack, which is more than these guys. Plus, they have double the HP if you get the um, some of the upgrades for them. He's already got this upgrade in for them. So, Canada Revolt would definitely be a good thing here. So would the French Revolution. But I think he might just be able to hold this. It was looking good for a second, and he had his moment. Um, and I'm, I'm actually starting to get excited myself because I actually think Egypt Revolt looks like a thing. Hot damn. I mean, that is what you spam, right? That is, that's all you spam. That is, that is literally all you spam. 16 revolutionaries with one Mameluke. That's like one of the best shipments in the game. That is one of the best shipments in the game. So this gives gain an extra resistance against siege attacks and have their costs split into food and coin. Instead of a Mameluke, you receive four extra fusiliers for the shipment. Uh, so you don't want to send that. Definitely don't want to send that. I mean, imagine not wanting Mamelukes. Who doesn't want Mamelukes? It does have nine Gatling camels, yes, but that is 2k coin. And Gatling camels used to be good, but they're bad now. Like, Gatling camels are just bad because they get countered by Colruns and Dragoons. And what civilization doesn't get either of those two things? Again, only has two Colvin Royales and that. Yeah, it's going to give plenty of time for these great bombards just to rock up in your house, boy. The Mandem following up, but not needed. Still, still in it. Still in it. Market going down. Using every available resource he has available to him. He's even starting to make citizens and he's got 11 of them. Let's go. Imagine if he can survive long enough to get 99 bills again. He's going to kill. Look at this. Boom. There goes one. And now these two goblins. Okay. Did kill him. One was weak. Fair enough. Want to use these great wilds. You get another shot off. Having to dive in against these kind of trapped himself here and that's a lot of skirms and i think that might be all she wrote mamelukes coming in here he still has five mamelukes though as well so you imagine if they were in there as well and that'd be fine still using the eye of the assassin gotta give him credit just ran out of steam unfortunately God, Karim, so many chances. Almost come back of the century with that Egypt revolt. Not a revolt you see very often. And uh, I'm so, I'm so pleasantly surprised we saw something from Karim that I don't think I've seen before.
Let's actually just have a look at this revolt for a second. Uh, Flood of the Nile. Mills, mills spawn a food crate and estates spawn a coin crate. Citizens collect from berry bushes, mills, and estates faster. Instead of a Mameluke, you get four extra citizens with this shipment. Okay. Oh, that's just with that shipment. Okay. Trade route upgrades are free and research instantly. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, good if you've got the TP line before you revolt. So do, is that what enables? Is that what enables settlers? No, that sorry, that is. So that gives six. That's that feels terrible. That feels terrible. Unless you unless you start getting economy back, that's that's not that's a good late. That's good to send later in the revolution. But not early. Whoa, look at that card! Five center horsemen and one Mameluke! Five center horsemen, which are basically mini Mamelukes anyway. Holy crap, that's a good card. I don't know what's better. 16 revolutionaries and one Mameluke, or five center horsemen and one Mameluke. I guess that is better. Uh, Sudanese dervish is just uh, that's an okay but it's not you don't really want that over something like this um i mean even that's quite good four stradiots and one mameluke infinite forts i mean you can spam two horse artillery but if you've got factories you don't want to be sending that so yeah so definitely worth shipping that into just spamming that basically five sparhi plus one mam they're a bit different to Spahi, aren't they? They're not really Spahi, I don't think. I think they're more like Mamelukes, mini Mamelukes. Um, this is actually a good revolt. I can't believe how good that card is. 16 revolutionary. You take Chili Revolt, for example, they get 16 revolutionaries. That's it. This gives 16 revolutionaries and a Mameluke. I can't get over that.